the raft down to the sea of light. The flow and current of the river will propel you into different adventures and circumstances that were not preordained by a theistic being, God. Rather, this river of Tao is governed by the principle of the spontaneous natural arising of different forces that are beyond our control. Hence, the spirit of Tao is in the uncertainty of the outcome of events, as well as their true purpose. Such an unequivocal spirit of the Tao of uncertainty. A long time ago, on the outskirts of Outer Mongolia, there lived a clan of equestrians dating back from antiquity. This noble horse family. Have bred and trained some of the finest steeds that were fitted for the imperial stable. One night, a young stable boy was so fatigued after an endless day of chores that he had fallen asleep and leaving. The gate opened. Early in the morning, the master of the house, Mr. Choi, in his daily round of inspection of his prize stallion, discovered that, to his horror, that it is empty. The gate wide open. And the stable boy sleeping soundly on top of the haystack. The boy woke up in a shock, and his father, the farm hand, screamed at him. Did you realize you let the master's prize stallion escape? What great misfortune is this! So his father started to beat the boy mercilessly, but the master, Mr. Choi, restrained him and said, "Stop!" And we don't know. Maybe everyone. Was shocked at the master's reaction. What to him? By maybe, maybe what? He just lost his most prized stallion. Mister Choi. Seemed almost joyous in losing his stallion. Hence, not a few of his friends secretly think that Mr. Choi had become senile. For every time they try to console him, oh, poor, poor Mr. Choi. What calamity has befallen you? But Mr. Choi just smiled and replied, "Maybe." That went on day after day for a long time. 
then, after a fortnight, in the dead of night, the sound of thundering hoofs woke up the whole village, and they discovered, to their great astonishment, that Mr. Choi's stallion had brought back a leopard-spotted mare. The stallion. Apparently, had escaped to mate with the wild man in the forest, and now he had brought her back to his stable. Everyone were overjoyed. Most of all, the poor stable boy, who had felt so ashamed of falling asleep on his job. Mr. Choi's friend came to congratulate him. You lucky son of a gun! Not only did you recover your loss, but you managed to gain a wild, strong mare that will strengthen your breed tremendously. Oh, what great good fortune has befallen you! Again, to the complete charin, Mr. Choi just nodded his head and said, "Maybe." What do you mean by maybe? I don't understand. His friends cried out. Then Mr. Choi just nodded and said, "Maybe." Mr. Choi's only son, a great horseman himself, came to love the wild mare, and started to train her. He loved to ride bareback on the mare, and could be seen galloping in the forest like a centaur. Then, on a moonless night. The wild mare returned riderless. After a search party was sent out to find his son, they discovered that he lay unconscious, with both his legs broken. Mr. Choi rushed to his son's side and cradled his limp body in his arms. And carried him all the way home. Once again, Mr. Choi's friends came to console him. This time, they knew for certain that Mr. Choi would mourn the misfortune that had fallen on his only hair. But to their complete astonishment, Mr. Troy, even though with tears streaming down his cheeks, just shook his head and murmured, "Maybe, maybe." Hearing this, all his friends were completely certain. That Mr. Choi had lost his mind. Years passed. The villagers had long forgotten those incidents. For China was plunged into an era of warring kingdoms. With clans fighting clans, tribes fighting tribes, and neighbors killing neighbors, most of the able body in Mr. Choi's village were drafted, and few returned. But since his son was a cripple, he was not drafted. 
and survived the most violent period of fighting in Chinese history, and thus able to continue the family bloodline. Only then did Mr. Choi press his palms together and intone a silent prayer to the heaven. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is Taoism? Taoism.